for now. All right, so today we're going to be cleaning a bunch of fish. I've got Troy with me. Look at that sexy man right there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we, we're going to clean up a bunch of fish. We got a mess of bluegills and a couple crappie mixed in here. And uh, I'm just going to show you uh, how we do them. So stick with us and we'll get these cleaned up. And then I'll go out and cut some of this out. So start off, always keep your knife sharp. Don't go through the ribs. I'm going to start with a nice C cut right behind that first fin, adjust you a little bit, so you can see that cut, right behind that first fin, all the way down, come underneath and push, once you get behind these two fins, you're going to push your knife all the way through, and you're going to follow it all the way down to the tail, so it's going to look like a cut, just like that, then you're going to flip them over, take the knife and go right along that dorsal fin all the way up to the top and this is where keeping your knife is really important and sharp so we're gonna go above his ribs don't cut through the ribs then once you have the ribs off you can just pull and there you have a boneless fillet. So I don't have any bones in here. I don't have any bones through there. And then Troy is going to be taking the skin off of them, but I'll do uh, I'll do one to show you how to take the skin off of them too. Take your finger. Don't cut it off. And uh, make a cut vertically, and then go horizontal. Whoop. And just work that meat right off. And there you go. You have a totally boneless fillet and skinless too. I got one or two scales there, but we won't talk about that. And we're going to save you some time. We're going to time lapse the crap out of this so you don't have to watch us clean all of them. <laughs> Alright, we're good to go. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, you only got the one. One half done. Sorry. <laughs> Did you already have a fish die? If I was going normal speed, I would. <laughs> There's a fish done. Easy there, buddy. I'm just trying to get this string place. You got a bit of holy water. It's actually not a bad surface. It's actually got these on it. Get over here, you mama June. Look at the size of that slab. <laughs> I got that one already, mostly. Okay. You can clean up my errors. Oh, they're coming for us now. <laughs> Shoot. Like I said, cops are gonna come. It is a cop car. Undercover cop car charger. What are the chances of that? Well, you know, it's us, so 100%. Yeah. There we go. Responding to uh, somebody lost, Mr. Fluffers. <laughs> fire trucks. So now they're coming back? No, I think they turn in oh, they're turning into the intersection. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, ambulance. Ambulance! They're coming this way. I 
Yeah, they turned right there in that drive. Mm -hmm. huh. huh. We're right next to something really cool. <laughs> We're really bad. Yeah. What's up? Hmm? Oh, I said what's up. <laughs> oh, you know, just slicing fish up. Oh, I just... What's up? Let's see if I can see like smoke or something. That'd be kind of nice. Damn, that's a thick That's what I said. Thick. That's a thick one. Thick with two C's. That ain't a D, that's a double D. <laughs> oh, you can put that puppy on a sandwich. <laughs> that's like something you get off a of catfish. video's not going to be very long. What do you mean? You it only did the beginning part. we got to do an outro. Oh. Of course. Well, I guess you're going to do time-lapse the whole thing. Yeah, we're going to time-lapse the whole thing. So they're, they're just going to see us carving through fish left and right with some key moments where it's not time-lapsed. Like, like when you're like, that one goes on a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> No B-roll in this one, though. No what? No B-roll. No, like, cool shots. Oh. Unless I cut my finger open. Then, <laughs> then we'll get a cool shot of that. How we doing? Is the pile getting smaller? Kinda. <laughs> Still Doesn't look like it. Really good fish. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I still listen to that today. <laughs> Same. <laughs> How to talk to girls. You only got one opportunity. <laughs> to blow your shot. To blow your shot. <laughs> Maybe not the best type of song for that then. <laughs> Persistence is key! Nope, according to Eminem, you only got one shot. This is a sandwich one too for you, Troy. That crock is a sandwich right there. Also, you're nine and three quarters. I want to know what else is like in three quarters. <laughs> oh boy. And this became R rated. <laughs> Very quickly. Could be a lot worse. It's on the ground. Down to two. We got a crappie and a big bluegill. They're actually about the same size. Some trash panda's gonna come around tonight and just be in love. Oh, this is gonna be a buffet. Talking about one trash panda, I think. A yeah, whole herd of trash pandas. A whole family of trash pandas. Uh, like a family? <laughs> We're gonna have all the trash pandas in the county. <laughs> Well, they all are family. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <Good roasted. laughs> yeah, this is a sandwich one for you, Troy. Bluegill fillet. Good size bluegill fillet. Good size crappie fillet. You can see that there's almost twice to three times as much meat on the crappie fillet. And that's why we like crappies. If we can catch them a lot more. <laughs> I know. There's not a whole lot of places around here with good crappie. No. 
through there, you gotta have a boat to be able to get to them. Usually. Because you gotta chase them down. Fruit salad. Nummy, nummy. Fruit salad. Oh, well, that's, that's a dang good problem. Yeah. It's pretty dang thick. Like if you can catch like 10 of those, all, all. You'd, be, you'd be in business for a day. Last one, guys. He's still alive. This is a big old bluegill. Not quite an Iowa master mangler, but certainly anybody who catches this guy, he puts a smile on your face. Troy's cracking up right now. <laughs> Put a smile on his face. He starts cracking up. No, I was thinking <laughs> I bet there's something else that puts a smile on your face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 bet there's something else. <laughs> I can make a smile on your face. <laughs> We all go home happy. <laughs> this one's a sandwich and a half, by the way. That's what it looks. It looks like that's going to be almost comparable to the crappie. crappie. Oh, that's going to be bigger than the crappie. Yeah, that's bigger than the crappie. Well, shit, I'm a liar about crappie fillets then. Yeah, that one's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now we just got done with cleaning all those fish. We're going to clean ourselves up and we're going to clean this table up. Uh, it's probably the most important part because if you don't clean your equipment this time around, then when you go to try and use it again, it's going to be dirty and you don't really want to deal with contaminated stuff when you're dealing with food. So we're going to go find a hydrant and clean this table up. Hey guys, so obviously it's uh, not the same location. Uh, it's later that night after we were cleaning fish, we were cleaning up uh, the, the picnic area that we were utilizing and a, uh, a police, a fire department, and an ambulance responded to something about a block or two from where we were uh, cleaning fish at. And um, I would have shown you guys cleaning that up, but they posted a, a police officer actually in the parking lot. Um, so we figured that we should probably uh, get out of there as fast as possible and not film an outro. So. Hopefully, uh, I haven't looked at the footage, hopefully that turns out all right. Uh, I know that a fish at one point hit this and it, uh, it moved uh, the camera off of, off of my cleaning, so it may be a much shorter video. Um, also, I know that the one question is gonna be, why didn't you show us uh, the fishing area? Well, number one, it wasn't my spot. Uh, Troy, he's a good buddy of mine, um, he said, hey, we're gonna go to a secret spot. And I said, all right, I'm not gonna risk uh, publicizing his spot and so we we didn't film that but I said you know what this could be a very educational moment in time with uh, cle the cleaning process of bluegill I know I had mentioned earlier that I wanted to get a, a better set of, of cleaning videos both with trout uh, bluegill crappie all of the above uh, anything that I clean I really want to show you guys how to process that so hopefully once again I haven't looked at the footage but hopefully uh, I've got at least one or two um, really good bluegills in there that I can show you guys and say, hey, yep, this is, this is how I clean bluegill and it works for me. Thank you guys. Hopefully you found it interesting and uh, let me know what I can do different to do better.